Uh, so I always knew who she was, but I just I never really met her. And then, I, and then you know, the height of empire. So I'm scooting in the aisle, uh, BT Awards. I'm like, I do one of these, like a double take, like. Hey, what's up? I'm Soraya. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Jacob Lattimore. And you may be wondering why we're not in the same room. That's just because we're working. You know, this is what we do. You know, I gotta, gotta pay the bills. Right now we're working, so we're in different cities. And so the way that we stay connected is through FaceTime calls. Uh, we pretty much talk all day and stay tapped in. Unless, you know, he's on set or I'm on set. We can't talk at that time. We may be on the phone all day. I just may be on FaceTime in her purse. And then <laughs> it's like as if we in the same room but we not talking to each other, like we just watching TV or something. We met at BT Awards 2016. Um, we have a mutual mutual friend, great friend of ours, Shamik Moore. We love you. So I always knew who she was, but I just, I never really met her. And then, I, and then you know, the height of empire, like, I mean, Empire on fire, like, yes, sir. like we go, it's up. So I'm scooting in the aisle, uh, BT Awards. I'm like, I do one of these, like a double take, like, hey, she said, hey, I heard so much about you. And I'm like, I I've heard so much about you too, you know what I mean? And I, I scoot over to my aisle, give her a hug, sit down, and I look over, like, <laughs> and so I'm like, man, we end up dating later. But our first, <laughs> I guess you can call it like first thing together away from friends. I had to get my nails done. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I have to go get my nails done. I mean, I'm, I don't know if you do that, but you can come. And if you do do it, you know, it'd be great. Um, <laughs> if you want to get a pedicure or something, I don't know. Or we can meet after. And he was like, no, yeah, I'll come. Um, I don't think he had ever done it before, but he definitely was um, was there getting a pedicure. And that was like our first time together alone away from friends. <laughs> you know, I realized once I had my toes out, <laughs> this is a little different. <laughs> yeah. Like, I go to sleep with my socks on. This ain't, this is, it's different. I want to say it was like maybe like six months, seven months, six or seven months maybe before like any posting was involved. I think the first time we posted though, no one really like could tell if we were just dating or not. It was just, it was like a, it was a thing. We wasn't really trying to push that we was dating. I think people, I think people still finding out now, to be honest, because I still see people like, when this happened, you know, and a photo of us at one music festival went really like, really went crazy for us, but. I just didn't want, I'm just, I'm very personal, but, and then also this is, I think both of our first like celebrity relationship, if you want to call it that. And so for me, a lot of it was just like making sure like things are real and in place before just like posting or, you know, answering questions or anything like that. I just wanted to know for myself before the world knew. I didn't speak to my PR. I don't think Jacob did either. And um, once we did post, it kind of all started trickling in. I got calls and, are you dating Jacob Vladimir? Are you dating the kid from the shy? Are you dating him? Oh my God, my family started calling. Oh my God, my sister's auntie, somebody loves his music. Oh my God, he's so fine. That's the boy from the shy. Oh my God, tell him Tell Emmett to stop. Oh my God, is that Emmett? It just it just all started coming. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> relax. We're public, but we're not public. You know, we like, there's a lot of things we still keep very private. Um, you know, I just think we just, we just have fun with each other. So we capture those moments and we just throw it up. It's, it's a lot of moments we haven't posted. I think we, we, we still very much so in control of our narrative and in, um, in our relationship, but we're not. We're not out there enough where people can really just like know what's going on in every part of our relationship. You know, I think it's we still. I think that's why it's still so special because it's, it's still very private. 
if you don't post it, it ain't real. I feel like that's definitely a thing of the generation. Like, if you go to a concert and you're like, I met Kanye West. It's like, okay, where's the picture? You're like, I didn't get the picture because I was just so in the moment. And I, I just feel like, you know, in one case, it's just funny, like, hashtag. But to really, to really use that as, like, a life code is kind of, you kind of rob yourself of real moments. And I think that, um, you know, sometimes everything's not postable or sometimes everything's not even, you can't even capture it because it's just happening in real time. So, and some of those are like the best moments. So I, I really do feel like as far as relationship, um, people may feel like you're hiding them if you never post them. Let me just say that. But, <laughs> but also I feel like the overindulging of like, Posting your person can be just a lot for, you know, for the relationship and for the public. I do feel like the only reason that that quote became a thing is because people are comparing themselves to a different relationship. So if someone has a private relationship and then they see someone else with, you know, a public relationship where the husband's kissing the wife and it's all on IG and it's like, well, why don't I never post me? You know, and it's like, Cause we ain't on that, you know what I mean. So uh, um, I think it, it came. I think it comes from just comparing yourself to everybody else's, the way everybody else moves. You, know? you gotta, you gotta move how you move, and, um, and you know we moving how we move. Soraya surprised me with something on that day, and I wasn't aware that it was my day. You know what I mean? I'm like, it's my day, okay, man. So she calls me. Uh, she's at her apartment. I'm at mine here in Chicago. And um, she's like, yeah, you gotta come over right now in 30 minutes. So I'm like, what's, what's wrong? Like, you know, so she's rushing me. I get over there, long story short, she opens the door, there's rose petals, there's my chef is in there cooking me a hot meal, and then I turn to the left, and then there's two massage tables. And, and then my chef handed me some flowers. I'm like, I'm blushing, I'm like, hold up, this. <laughs> This is uh, what's going on? Yeah, I'm like, I'm looking at Ray like, what? Yeah, it was that moment of like, yo, nobody ain't never done nothing like this for me. You know what I mean? Like, not, you know, not my, my girl. So I'm like, this is something I would do, you know? So I'm like, hold up. So I think the, the, the level of uh, love she expressed to me was just, or appreciation and just, for me, it was just like, oh man. What you know? I just I, I was kind of lost for words, and you just I, I can still tap back into that moment. Um, I I knew he was the one when we were just all when it was like the friend stage, and I wasn't necessarily like crushing, but I think that I was like maybe I was, <laughs> but I think that I was just like wow, like wow, you know, he just kind of took initiative. There were certain things like oh, dang, I have to go do this. And he was like, oh, you want me to do it? Or um, he was like, just voluntarily like, oh, I'm about to leave, you just take the trash. Like, you wouldn't even ask, like, you just take it, you just go. And it was all of the small little things that wasn't really re necessary. He wasn't my boyfriend or we weren't even talking or anything like that. I just felt like I seen that he was a good person. I seen how he treated his friends how he cared about different things. And I, I think I was really just like, he's like, his heart is just what I fell in love with. So. <laughs> I guess my advice would be to just, uh, man, like, you know, get off social media. I really don't know, there ain't no really special way to say it, it's just, I, I see certain couples tweeting each other, then it's like, hey, like, seem like y'all could just text this out or, you know, call call each other or something. So I, I think uh, social media has become like this, like, open journal thing where it's like, I don't know, they're just putting everything out there. It's just like, I don't know, exposing everything, which is like a, a scary thing for me and, and maybe it's because it's just the world we live in now it's just like that's the new generation I, I think that's something I still won't fully understand so I would just say man keep things private because when you take your you can take your wins and your losses in private you know what I mean it's just um, it's it's important it's really important for 
your mental, you know, so that way you can actually deal with things on your own, not with the world, and you're not getting flooded with comments, and you gonna be all right, and, you know, just like anything, just uh, privacy is just, it's just, it's a, uh, it's the most important thing, especially just for yourself and in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Our generation is a lot less patient. I think they kind of stopped around my grandparents, probably my grandma, she's patient with cooking. She's patient with pretty much everything. She was patient in her relationship, I'm sure, um, when she was married. And so I think, like Jacob said, it's just our generation's a lot like quicker and like we just need what we need now. It's like we need it now. And that's kind of like how we, how we're adapting. It's how our life is set up with the phones, with the everything. Like, no problem. We can do it now, virtually. Like, you know, and so I think that that just has a big part in the way it affects just our life in general. And that kind of bleeds into our relationships too. Don't compare yourself, like Jacob said earlier, don't compare yourself to other couples or a couple goals, whatever that means, because everyone has their own BS that they go through. So you never want to feel like, just because you see someone's beautiful picture of them and their spouse or boyfriend, girlfriend, that it's just like nothing but roses, because we don't know what's going on behind that picture, first off. So I feel like people should just be tapped into what makes them happy and what they want out of their relationship and what's their goals and create their own hashtag couple goals um, and, and not worry about what everyone else has going on because um, I feel like there's like this scarcity thing right now in our society for all things but especially relationships you know jobs and like careers and stuff like that money and it's like as if there's not enough people to date there's not enough clout to have there's not enough jobs to acquire there's not enough you know money for us and i just feel like we just need to slow down <laughs> and and just really tap into what our personal things are <laughs>